Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I have just finished studying part three of the Mathematical Tripos and I am currently a Space Systems Optimization Engineer and today I'm bringing you a video, a maths Q&A with two maths graduates. We both studied maths at the University of Leeds for three years uh, and yeah, I've brought my wonderful best friend onto one of my videos. We met doing maths and we studied maths for many years. For three years. <laughs> So I put a story on my Instagram basically saying I'm filming a Q&A video today, ask me anything, ask me any questions. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, I've linked my Instagram below. So before we dive into the questions, I'm going to ask some questions myself to Victoria so you guys get to know a little bit more about her. First things first, what's your name? I'm Victoria. <laughs> okay, tell me more. Do you need more? Can I have your bank details as well? <laughs> Where do you come from, Victoria? Well, I was born in South Africa. Yeah. But I moved here when I was three. Oh, yeah. I, thought you, I thought it was when you were two, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. No, it was when I was three. Oh. <laughs> that shows how much of a good friend I am. Yeah. What degree did you do and what A levels did you do? I did a maths degree and my A levels were maths, biology, chemistry, and then I did economics at AS. You were going to do something completely different, weren't you, instead of maths? Like bio, sort of biology? Biomedical engineering. Yeah. And then I went to the talk about it and then I just started crying because I didn't <laughs> want to do it. So. <laughs> oh, that next question. How much did you cry on your maths degree? <laughs> Quite a lot. <laughs> I'm joking, that's not the next question. How old are you? 23. Same age as me. And give a fun fact about yourself. I already said I was born in South Africa, that is. <laughs> that's your whole personality. That's my fun fact. <laughs> Mine's that I went to Cambridge. <laughs> no way. Yeah, at it. You got any hidden talents? No. Do no. I? You can solve a Rubik's Cube. I can solve a Rubik's Cube. We do have a Rubik's Cube here. You're not going to make me solve it. You are not going to make You don't have to. 12 seconds later. Oh. That was incredible. Wow. Well, that's what I'm <laughs> done. What do you do now, now that you've finished your maths degree? What, what do you do? I work in audit. You um, work in audit? Yeah, training to be a chartered accountant. Yeah, do my AC. I basically put on my story that Victoria is trained to be an accountant, a chartered accountant. And I put that in my story and I've had quite a few questions about accounting. Because I realised like obviously on my channel I talked about maths and how much I love maths and I've gone into a very different, you know, I haven't gone into finance. A lot of math students go into finance. Here is one of them. And I think a lot of people have questions just about that. So yeah, we'll, we'll answer some of those today. So the first question, how much maths from uni do you actually use in accounting? Not from uni, I'd say no. Really? Yeah. Would you say to somebody that if they were deciding, say at like 18 or 19, whenever they're yeah. trying to decide, would you say, if you want to be an accountant, would you recommend going to uni and studying maths? Or would you just say, do an apprenticeship in accounting? Or does it depend on the person? I think it depends on the person. I wouldn't I wouldn't go back and do an apprenticeship if I could. Really? I would have done a maths degree still. Yeah, me too. I, don't, I wouldn't change going to uni for the world. And a lot of people... What about you? Um, yeah, I know. I know, look at us now. Um, a lot of people that do what I do, that have done an accounting degree, wish they did something different, because you don't need an accounting degree. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, f I can imagine an accounting degree is quite, like... Cool, accounting problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of accounting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think, for, like, for me, I don't enjoy any application towards finance, so... Like, I think I probably would have struggled trying to do, if I did something like that. I was going to do did an apprenticeship... Did you financial maths one? No. Oh, okay. I, I substituted it for a physics module. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't want to do it. But yeah, so not much maths that you use in accounting? No. It's like arithmetic. It's oh, okay. Not, it's not our degree. There's numbers, but it's not maths. No. A maths degree is very like, a maths theoretical. Degree is not what people think a maths degree is. You go yeah. to uni and you're like, well, like this is like a different, yeah. like, sub I don't know, it's loads of subjects, isn't it? Yeah. So it is maths, but it's not like maths. You it's not a maths, sort of maths background really to go into yeah. it. It's like you, you have, you're not going to use vector calculus. Exactly. Yeah. If people are interested in make us making a separate video where I just ask Victoria loads of questions about counting and what it's like doing the ACA, then comment down below and I'll make that video. But we're going to move back to maths. Is a maths degree worth it? Yes. Okay, good. I'm glad do you have nothing to No, I do. I, yeah. Oh, right. No, what? do you think anybody that's done a maths degree would be like, I don't know. That was not worth it. I think some people would regret doing a maths degree just because of the stress and like, do you think? I don't know. But it pays off, I think. Yeah. Well, we've had like a lot of opportunities since then. 
it's also a well-rounded degree, I think. Yeah. As in, like, you you can go into a lot of stuff having done a maths degree. We work we work very hard. To That's how our friendship started, wasn't it? Yeah. We were like, oh, do you want to like? I'm glad that we met when we did because at that point, by third year, we did completely different modules. Yeah, then we didn't we work won. together. But, well, we studied at the same time, but like not together. Yeah. Oh wait, what did we have? We had like one module that we did together, like linear waves, linear and non-linear waves. Oh my gosh, we did entropy, didn't we? Next question. Is maths hard? Yes. I got this was asked a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. On a scale of like one to ten, could you quantify it? It's hard to put a number on, isn't it? And I think there are people out there that just get maths, but not many. When you went to Cambridge, there must have been a few that just got it. I was actually quite pleasantly so, like the, there were people that just understood it straight away, and some like I did one module that I just did not get. And people just understood it. But I was also quite pleasantly surprised that I kind of just had this idea that I'd go to Cambridge and everyone would just understand math straight away. But then people did work hard. Yeah, people were incredibly hard. They did at Leeds as well. Like yeah. Okay, what was the hardest, like, maths... I mean, someone asked this, but what was the hardest maths, like, subject that you did? Probably one of the ones we did together. Mm. Although I don't know if the ones right at the beginning were the hardest, because when you get to uni, it's like, oh my gosh, so like, this is not, like, school maths. Because A-level maths, you just practice past papers mm. and you're, like, good. Yeah. Whereas at uni maths, it's like, oh, this is so abstract, yeah. what is going on? It's like differentiation, like, you, you'd learn at A-level, differentiation is just... You take, take one off. And yeah, and then, yeah. Number, yeah, 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 and then we got there and it was like, the limit says X tends towards infinity, yeah. or to X tends towards A, or whatever. Oh, analytic solutions of partial differential equations. Yeah, that was pretty tough. That was the first time, because it was all COVID then, and I've been to every, I went to every lecture. Yeah. Like a, and that was the first time I ever let left a lecture like mm. halfway through because it was online obviously yeah. and I because I was just like what's going on yeah I was like I can't do it also it didn't help that the hot the module completely changed the year that we did it because we had a new lecturer yeah and then it was like they didn't know what level to set the exam questions and it was so hard oh yeah it was wasn't it I remember yeah. the exam to me I saw partial differential equations and I was like oh sweet like I'm gonna love it it's gonna be a bit like fluid well, it just did, didn't yeah Adam did it as well yeah he's not like pure mathematician yeah yeah he's a actuarial it was too abstract for me i think like it wasn't it didn't feel like i was applying it to anything at all real analysis that was quite hard but then once that I, was really hard i found that hard but then once you understood it it was like the most like for me it was very elegant maths like what <laughs> that was so profound <laughs> so hardest module what was your favorite module at university so i'm not like you though that has like a love for like really did you not dynamics but did you not like do a module and think i loved that I really enjoyed logic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You had a good lecturer for that as well, didn't you? I did, yeah. Yeah. He was good. But also, there must have been like lecturers that I really liked. Yeah, I feel like there's a difference between enjoying a module because of the content and enjoying it because of the lecturer. But then sometimes they overlap as well. Oh, yeah, I think they're so interlinked. Yeah. Because if you've got a good lecturer, then you enjoy yeah. the module. Mike Evans. He's very good. Yeah, yeah. he's like the best. So, logic was your favourite? I think so. Mm. It was very like, logical, mm. as it would be. Really? Yeah. Wow. I really liked about calculus, like that second That was year. very interlinked to him being a very good lecturer. Yeah. Although it was a good module, to Yeah. Be fair. It was a good module, but he was like an incredible... Do you remember on Halloween when he brought in this like fake oh, skeleton yeah, yeah, hand? Yeah. Yeah, he was a good lecturer, Dr Mike Evans. I mentioned him in my dissertation video. For me, I enjoyed all of the fluid dynamics modules, particularly the hydrodynamic stability module because I had a really good lecturer for that. Next question, how much group work did we actually do? We never worked together in a group, did we? No. No. We had to do a project for our dissertation. Everyone's projects were by themselves but then you were also put in groups to do a final presentation on like something to do with that topic, right? Something like that? You sort so of just took a section of... Because you would all have been speaking about... Well, in mind anyway, speaking about similar things. Mm. So then you just picked up a part of it and spoke about it. You did yeah. like a group presentation. But it was... F like, my group was fine. Mm. But I always think it when you put with people that you don't know, you don't know how hard they work. It's not. It's yeah, it's a hard one, isn't it? Like I, I looked at massively with my group, but well, did you have quite a tricky group? I remember there were certain. I remember you having a couple of stresses. Yeah. Stresses, yeah. I mean, yeah. I think group work throughout your life is probably like that anyway. You just oh hope yeah, that you can work with people that you work well with. Yeah, maths. It's a weird degree where like a lot of it is just independent. It is. Like, it's not like something you can all take part of because no. you're trying to solve something. So you can't pick up somebody yeah. else's work. It's not. Like, I'd say 1% of our degree is group work. Yeah. Probably even less if, than yeah, that. If, 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 if yeah. That. Although that's in terms of like the presentation of your work. But you can work together to like study and stuff. I guess. Oh, and yeah. If, and then you just find people you work well with. Yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of, a lot of math students do 
work together. Yeah. So someone asked what it was like to be a woman in maths, like as a woman in STEM. I think it's 40, 60 mm. split. I remember we... Men and leaves, isn't it? Do you remember the questionnaire we had to do at the start of the year? Got us to do it and then they told us. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the one of the questions was like what percent of like women is there in on the on Leeds maths degree anyway, and the the answer was forty percent, which is actually pretty like decent because yeah in STEM typically like you you are kind of underrepresented, so it was quite good. I mean maths Cambridge was a bit different to be fair. Like it was, I was surrounded by guys, and to be fair, more the more I went into like fluid dynamics, it was I was like the only girl doing fluid dynamics, but yeah Leeds itself had quite a good spread. Someone said. How do you revise maths? For me, it's just practicing mm. and going over stuff, repetition. How did you? Because this is something I made a video on, like how I revise as a math student. I wondered, like, how did you remember content? Because for me, I did cue cards. Yeah, I didn't use cue cards. Yeah, like, how did you remember the content? What did you do? Repetition. I did make summaries on like sheets of paper. Yeah, that's what I did at Cambridge. And then, like, just go over those all the time. Mm. And then you just practiced. Yeah. Also, like learning the exam as well. Although saying that, a lot of our exams changed. Do you remember, like we'd learn like Vets Calculus was a different format to what. Yeah. That was quite stressful. It but was. yeah, I think just practice a lot of the time, especially as you get later on in your degree, by third year. I mean, for us it was different because it was COVID year, so our exams were online, so they were more like actually applying it and coming to your own solution, but. The past papers that we looked at, it was just book work. It was literally, do you remember like linear and non-linear waves and entropy? It was like, oh, well, it was just like regurgitating yeah, what you'd learned. Yeah. But for us, it was not like that, was no, it? No, because of COVID. Yeah. But ordinarily, I think, as you get on later in your degree, it's more about memory and remembering the content, which seems a bit silly. Like, application, I think, is better. Yeah, I agree. Better, sorry. Pronounce my teeth. What was your dissertation on? Um, computational complexity. Expand on that a bit more. Can I remember? <laughs> That's the question. P Alan, versus MP. P versus MP. Uh, it's unsolvable, isn't it? Well, it's yeah. not unsolvable. It's, I think it's one of the millennium. It's supposedly unsolvable. Isn't it one of the millennium? Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. You'd get a million pounds if you solve the P versus MP problem. And my dissertation was in, like, a pl- well, actually, to be fair, it was in, like, statistical mechanics, but it was applied. Yours was very pure. It was very What pure. was it like doing a pure, like, for you? Because obviously on my channel, I always just talk about the math that I've done, but as a pure mathematician, what, yeah. how was that? How did you find um, it? Well, I feel like a dissertation is just strange for any math student, isn't it? Because you're not used to like no. writing, so you're literally writing about maths. And it's yeah. Like, I said that in my dissertation math. video. I literally yeah. said we never got taught how to read a mathematical research paper. Yeah. We'd and then in most degrees, you know how to like reference and stuff before you get there, and we're yeah. just like, oh my gosh, like. I, the only reason I knew how to reference during that, I did that physics module in first year, and I, I kid yeah, you not, I reference YouTube, I reference YouTube, oh, YouTube. and Wikipedia. Yeah, th- no one taught me. Oh, in the first year. In module. first year, yeah. yeah. The like drop to marks, like referencing, was like the lowest one. I was like, I didn't know <laughs> this. Did you have a helpful supervisor? Yeah, my yeah. supervisor was my personal tutor as well. Ah, oh, he was. Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy it doing like the research element? I think I liked the change, mm. but I did still. I prefer like, I don't like exams, but I prefer exams to writing essays. Really? Yeah. For me, I would much prefer to do a research aspect than exams I think. Or maybe I'd prefer to write an essay because it's not under exam conditions but not on maths so like I, if I'm doing maths I want to do an exam. Okay okay. If that makes sense. Yeah yeah if we had to divide it into different sections like what would you divide it into and then like how would you say that was so like teaching how's teaching? That's dependent on the lecturers yeah which I think is the same for any degree anyway. Yeah but generally we had quite good lecturers yeah and yeah. good tutors and stuff. Yeah. The content? Content a broad range of subjects. Mm. There was a lot of choice. University life, like life, how was like away I think from we the degree. Lot, well, we worked a lot harder than on a lot of courses. Like it wasn't like most people where you can go to your lectures or not go to your lectures, catch up when you want, mm. uh, have your weekends off. Yeah. Which a lot of people do at uni. Like if you if you miss something, then you're behind. Yeah, it's you're so like, behind. Just the workload, like we had so many lectures, mm-hmm. like we had so many contact hours, like it was ridiculous. And we had worked hand in every week. Yeah. For the like, first year, it was just so, st- compared to second and yeah. third year, it was like, we had to, do you remember that, like, was it, was it Taoist? It was something that, for the number systems module, we just had to, sub- we had to submit. Was it like just a multiple choice? Yeah. Uh, no. Might have been multiple choice, oh, but I'm you had to actually figure it out. You had to, like, calculate something and type it, like, you Yeah, know, that was for, like, the first maths, math one, Yeah. I think. Yeah. No, we worked very hard. Yeah. 
leading on to the next question someone asked how hard is your degree compared to others I mean we've not done another degree so we don't exactly. really know I think regardless of what degree I did I would have worked equally as hard yeah and that might equate to different results at the end but I would have mm-hmm. worked still as hard someone asked what would you have studied if you didn't study maths mm. <laughs> nothing <laughs> nothing I don't know what would you have studied at the time, I would have probably done English literature. Which is so different. So different. But that's because I loved it. I had like, the best teacher for it at school. And I really enjoyed it. I did that at A-level. I just don't think I would have done anything different. Like Maths was just the... After doing after finishing further maths at A-level, I was like, this is, I just love this. Yeah. I do think that also helps with teachers, though, because I had two of the best oh, teachers. I agree. My maths teacher was my favourite teacher I've ever yeah. had. And it's like... That's probably why I love maths. Yeah. Oh, yeah, same. So. Without without a doubt, same. How did you learn for maths? So learning, strategies, revision. We've, yeah, we've kind of... We, I suppose we've touched upon that. I mean, we've talked about how we both revised. I, I've made a video on my channel on how I study as a maths student, so, like, what I do during lectures and stuff like that. And then I've made a full video on how I revise as well. So if you're interested in those, then check them out. I guess so. learning is different to revising. And my yeah. learning would be... I don't think I ever was in a lecture like, oh, yeah, I get this straight away. I'd have to go home and then go over what we've done Yeah. to actually yeah. understand what was going on. I literally... I said that in my... How I studied as a math student, I basically just said... And th- hopefully this is like the same for you, but as soon as, like, say I finished the lecture, I'd go back and fill in the gaps. Like, mm-hmm. if there's anything I didn't understand, find resources that would help me with it and make sure that before the next lecture, or at least by the next week, I knew what was going on in that lecture yeah. before the next one. Do you have any regrets from doing your maths degree? No. No? Okay, same. No. Yeah. And then the final question is, why accounting? Big one to finish a, off that's on. That's a good question. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> I just think it opens doors. Doing your ACA opens doors. Oh, 100%. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do, but... You yeah, know, it's, it's in finance, or like in that Yeah, it'll be in that field and this gets me one step closer to yeah. where I eventually end up. Final question, final, final question. What was your favourite number? Oh, why are you asking? <laughs> I don't, I... I need, we need a maths, we need a maths yeah, question you know to finish off. Yeah, I don't have a favourite number. My, I don't, do you know, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because like you could say, you could say like pi, say E. Oh my gosh, that would have been so good. I like E, because it's, it's my name starts I. with Ellie. My favourite number is I. I. No, oh, no, I, no. sorry. But it's definitely Imaginary not. numbers, gosh. Square root of minus one. Yeah. Bye guys. Bye guys. Yeah, that was the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Victoria will be featuring in some more videos if you want her to. Yeah, I wanted to do some more videos on, you know, like the fact that we are both math students, but we both went to very different things. Both, and you love pure maths. I preferred applied <laughs> maths. So yeah, hopefully do some more videos. If you do want to see any videos or you have any video suggestion ideas for both of us or either of us, then let us know. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you all in the next one. Do you have anything else to say? No. See you later. See you later.